What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to set up Google call conversion tracking for your website so that you can track how many people called you with the number you listed. Not necessarily clicked a button or clicked a link, but actually picked up the phone and called. Pretty cool feature in Google. The way it happens is Google replaces the phone number that you list with their own call forwarding number so that they're able to track how many people called. So let's get straight into it. I have my Google AdWords account open. I have my ClickFunnels account open. You don't need to use ClickFunnels. Any landing page slash funnel builder will do. Um, so the way I got here to my conversions tab is I went to tools and I clicked on conversions, okay? So uh, do that, uh, click on tools here, click on conversions. If you haven't already, you will land on this page or some similar variation of it. Click on the little plus sign to add a new conversion tracking um, action. Click on phone calls, we'll be tracking phone calls in this case, and click on this middle option here, calls to a phone number on your website. We will not be going over these two. Uh, they really involve tracking conversions based on clicks. So in this case, we want to do something pretty cool cooler than that, uh, which is how many people actually called, not necessarily clicked on the button on your page. So obviously we fill in some of these steps. So conversion name, let's say, you know, my business <clears throat> calls. Category, what category do you want to set this as? Is it a lead, a purchase, a sign up? This is just really for your reference. I'm going to name it a lead because if someone calls me, that's a lead. It's not a purchase yet. It's not a sign up, but it is a lead. Uh, you can set here how what the value is of each of your calls, of each of your leads. So you can not add a value or you can add a value. This is just for really tracking uh, purposes. So you can see, you know, I made 25 bucks because five people called me, something like that. Uh, but, but again, this is value something that you set, right? So I'm going to imagine that um, every time someone calls me, that's $5 in my pocket. Okay, that's that's what what every lead is worth to me. Every word, ev every lead to me is worth five bucks. Uh, you can say how many conversions will count for each user. So I like to go with one and it gives you the example right there. Basically, if one person clicks on your ad and they fill in three forms, they go, they, they, they have three conversions. Do you want that to count as three conversions or one? Up to you. I like to go with one because I like to see how many unique conversions I generated, not how many unique signups I had, right? And not unique, but how many total signups I had. I want to see how many unique conversions I had, how many different people. So that's why I'm going to go with one, but it's up to you. In this case here, call length, obviously, what is the length of the call that you want in order for it to be considered a conversion? I'm going to leave it at 60 seconds. Conversion window, basically, after someone clicks on your ad, how long do you want to give them before... Uh, how long do you want to give them for it to still be considered a conversion if they call? So if someone lands on your ad, they click on the ad, and then they give you a call 20, uh, 28 days later. Do you want that to still be considered a conversion? You decide. Uh, if you selected 30 days here, then yes, it will still be a conversion. So just set the number here up to you. Again, I will leave it as 30. Include as conversions. Yes, you want to include this as conversions. That's the whole point here. You want to be able to see this in your Google AdWords um, conversions column, right? Uh, attribution column, you can leave that at last click. I'm going to click on create and continue, and this is where we get the code. I'm going to say install the code yourself because I will walk you through what you have to do. So the first thing we have to do is add this code to our page. So I'm going to take this code and I'm going to go back into my ClickFunnels account. I'm going to click on edit page. And I'm going to add this in the header section of my click funnel. So I'm going to go to settings, tracking code, and I'm going to add this in the header. Uh, you know, depending on your landing page slash funnel page builder, that's where you would put it. I'm going to go back here. And now what I have to do here is enter my phone number so I get another piece of code. So I'm going to close out of that for a second. This is my phone number here, 416-928-8154. made up phone number. Okay, so you need to enter it here exactly as it appears, meaning if you have dashes here, use dashes here. Don't use a period there, for example, or don't just take out the dashes. It has to be the same to make it easier for Google to do a search and replace your phone number with their forwarding number, okay? So I'm going to click on Create Snippet. 
and Google will create this custom code for me, which we place also just beneath our previous tracking code, which we placed here, right there. And that is it. I'm going to click save. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to click next here. You know, this gives you uh, some of the next steps, which we'll, we'll cover. Um, and that is it. So right now it's unverified. So we're not sure if we have um, the, the code set up correctly yet, but there are three ways to check, three ways, okay? Uh, the first way to check is to obviously click on your ad. So this only works if you click on your ad, meaning I can't go and open my page here and see the different code. That will not work. It has to be my specific um, ad, which is clicked on, and then the forwarding number will be shown. The other two options, I will use uh, Chrome for this reason because of a certain little uh, cool feature they have. So I'm gonna paste that link right there. So this is my website with the phone number. Um, you can use what is called a uh, Google, uh, Google tag. Okay, extension on Chrome. And what that's going to do is when you click on it, that will tell you if it's set up correctly or not. And in this case, it's green. The global tag is working. The call metric tag is working. So we know that the code is inserted here correctly. Okay. Now the other uh, and the last way you can check, this is actually a cool little addition you can add. I saw this uh, when I looked this up online. Uh, so I didn't come up with this, uh, but you can type in Google WCC debug to the end of your link. Okay, so I had to re-enter that. And as you can see on the bottom left here, you have this little option come up, which says attempting to auto replace. And it says, could not get number, no ad click. So like I mentioned, because we didn't click on the ad, it will not replace the number. So what we can do is we, so observe this number and click on force and boom, it changed to this number. So what happened is Google, this is a little test that shows, will Google replace this number or not? And in this case, it did. Google replaced the number with, you know, a hypothetical uh, forwarding number, but that's what Google will do. So when someone clicks on your ad, they will see a different number every time, usually starting with 888, something like that, it's going to be a forwarding number so that Google will be able to determine whether someone has given you the call or not. Uh, and if we go back to our Google AdWords and we hit refresh, we may see that this will be updated now from unverified to, okay, so, so it still hasn't been verified. It may take some time, but usually within 15 to 30 minutes, to be honest with you, uh, it updates and it says not recording conversions because no conversions have been recorded yet, uh, but all the data is there and you've set it up. Um, so just, you know, check this maybe, um, in a bit, maybe in a, in an hour or so, just to make sure. Uh, but we have checked it. We know that it works. We know the code works because when we use this debug tool, um, this little, this little debug trick on, on Chrome, and this only works on Chrome, by the way, it doesn't work on Firefox, which is why I had to shift it over. Um, we were able to see that it did successfully replace. So that is it. This is how you set up Google call conversion tracking. When you go into your campaign and you add this conversion, uh, column, uh, which should already be there, uh, you will be able to see how many conversions were generated from your campaign based on this setup. So that is it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, etc., etc. you name it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.